What's up? My name is Anna and this channel is all about digital planning and time management, so I would like to welcome you. In this video, I'm going to plan my week using Notion and what you can incorporate into your weekly reset routine. I am using my Notion digital planner templates, which you can get for yourself for free. The link will be down in the description below as well as a video about how to create your own Notion digital planner. Now let's get right into the video. First thing I do is review my goals for this week. See what the goals I hit, what I didn't, and take notes on why I did not hit certain goals. You can do this review either in a physical or a digital journal. After that is done, I keep the goals I achieved this week and collect them here in a separate section. So at the end of the month, I am able to see what goals I hit throughout the month. Now back to the goals for the week section. I write my new goals down and where I get these is by looking at the goals that I have for the month and break them down. Plus anything extra that needs to be done by the end of next week. And basically how I break goals down is going from is breaking down my yearly goals to quarterly goals and then my quarterly goals to monthly goals. Now, if you haven't set your goals this year yet, have no fear. I have a complete guide about how to set your goals using OneNote and how to effectively break them down into small steps. Next, I scroll to the tasks section and I'm going to do a brain dump. I might already have a few tasks that are already written in this section because whenever something comes into my mind, I write it down instantly. Where I get the rest of my tasks are from notes from my Evernote, the goals I just set for the week and breaking them down into tasks. Then tasks and reminders I might have added to Google Calendar, the Notion calendar from my monthly overview, and my constant to-dos list, which has things that I tend to frequently do, like chores for example. So nothing is forgotten. So now that I have all these tasks, we gotta make sense of this chaotic list. I'm using labels to categorize them by priority, as well if it's work-related or personal. Now, any tasks that I can break down to even smaller and more manageable steps, I will do it by creating a checklist in the task. Not all of them needs a checklist because some of the tasks are already very self-explanatory and straightforward. Now I have this week at a glance board view above the task list with each weekday and I will drag and drop these tasks down here on to each suitable weekday to a day of the week that I will plan to do it on. Now when it comes to this planning routine, especially if you're new to it, I recommend writing each step down as a list and putting it into your Sunday routine. For example, I also have my whole Sunday routine written down on this card down here. Let me know in the comments what you have in your Sunday routine to prepare for the upcoming week, whether it's cleaning the house or meal prepping, a self-care routine, or anything else that you do on top of your planning. Now, hopefully this video was useful for you, maybe gave you some planning inspiration. Give it a like and a subscribe if you would be interested in more digital planning content. I 
hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time ciao